This is a question in the 2012 Level 2 Electricity paper, um, and it doesn't work. The question is asking you to do something which you cannot do from the information given. Um, so this is the collected information from the question. It's not exactly as the question appears. If I've made a mistake, please let me know. But it starts off with the um, information saying that there are 12 volt, 5 watt lamps, which means they'll operate at 5 watts. They'll deliver 5 joules per second of energy when they're operating at 12 volts, with 12 volts running across them. So, uh, <coughs> and they're collected, connected in series to a power supply, then they're changed to be in the arrangement of the circuit below. Um, and then what you have to do with this is using the circuit below here, you have to calculate the current drawn from the power supply when the circuit's connected um, like that. It would have been on page 4, but I've collected it all here, as I said. Um, and we have to begin by calculating the resistance of each lamp. Now, um, what this is hoping that you'll do is use this information here, 12 volts um, and 5 watts, to use P equals V squared over R. You can rearrange that to find the resistance. This is a rearrangement of the P equals I times V, but uh, instead of I, which we don't have, from Ohm's law, I equals V over R. So you substitute V over R times V. Um, and you end up with P equals V squared over R, so R equals um, V squared over P. But you can't do this. This doesn't work because you don't have 12 volts across each lamp. You have to have 12 volts, 12 volts, and 12 volts for you to be able to use those values of the resistance. Do you see the problem? So, uh, in reality, um, you, you can't work this out because you don't know what the voltages of those resistance of those lamps will be. The voltages of the lamps will depend upon their resistance, but their resistance um, is non-ohmic, so they don't follow a nice uh, steady curve <coughs> for V over I or I over V. It doesn't really matter which way you look at it. You'll get one over R. Um, R equals V over I when you're dealing with this. So this actually does work. So it's not a straight line for the resistance, so if you just decrease the voltage and decrease the current, it's not going to keep the same resistance. Um, remember that as you increase the temperature of something, that uh, increases the resistance, making it harder for electricity to, th to flow. So in this curve, what you would actually see um, is a, because the, the gradient is the resistance, you'd see an increase in gradient as voltage and current increase. Um, to show that there's, so there's increasing resistance, which means less current flows, which means you have less power dissipated. Okay, so the only way forward with this, because you can't do it this way, you can't do it by calculating the resistance of each lamp, it's just not possible because they're non ohmic conductors and they're not running at full voltage. Okay, that's the summary. So what you would do, if you were trying to work this out, is work out what the voltages will be. But you can't even do that. Um, but how you would do that is 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 by um, assuming that the um, uh, the lamps are maintaining a sort of a, a linear resistance, which is the problem that meant that you're having to make this assumption. And so you're you're kind of double back on yourself, doubling back on yourself, um, throwing away one assumption, which is unfounded, then reusing it again because you can't go anywhere otherwise. But let's just go ahead. Uh, so what you might do is say, um, you'll see more as I go, um, that this, this first lamp um, has the entire current running through it, and these two lamps um, here, uh, the current's going to split up, as you'd expect, uh, from a parallel branch. Um, so um, you can divide up the voltages according to the ratio of the resistances. Even though you don't know what the resistances are, you know that the resistance of this lamp will be R, and the resistance over here, like the combined parallel resistance, will be R over 2. But again, this doesn't work because that resistance is not constant. We have a non-ohmic conductors. With lamp A, it's going to have more current going through, therefore uh, a greater voltage drop, therefore greater um, power dissipation, therefore greater heat um, in the lamp, therefore a higher resistance. And it's not going to be the same R value. You would actually call this R1 maybe and R2. But then R2 is not related to R1 um, because it's at a different point on this curve somewhere. And you just, yeah, again, you can't do it. But anyway, if you were doing it, you'd work out those ratios of the voltages, assume they're R's, um, and you would see that the 12 volts you get, um, you would get 8 volts across this first one. 
and four volts across these these two down here, <coughs> and then uh, from from that um, <laughs> you're still still in a bit of a trap because you don't have the resistances. So you, what you would have to do is um, let's see you would have to assume um, if, if you actually were trying to calculate the resistance of each lamp, you would have to assume that the power also follows a linear curve so that as the voltage increases across them the power increases so <laughs> you see this is this is getting really ridiculous um, because once yeah this obviously is not true um, because again it's not non ohmic conductors but if you um, if you have half the voltage from lamp B and C in parallel compared to lamp A you would have half of the power um, so that means uh, half of the power of lamp A. Lamp A running at 8 volts instead of 12 to get the full 5 watts will be at uh, a, a voltage, uh, sorry, a power rating of 8 over uh, 12 times the 5 watts original. So that's two thirds of the original uh, 5 watts. Um, and then the power rating, actually, this would answer your question, I guess, if you were getting the current, but. Um, because you could take the power, use P equals I times V, use the voltage as you know, 12 volts, and the power dissipated in the total circuit. So the total power in, in A uh, is going to be, um, let's say, two-thirds of 5, um, which is about 3.3 .3 recurring, 3.3 .3, uh, watts. Um, and the half, you, would, you could assume that half the power is dissipated between lamps B and C, because it's at 4 volts. Um, so you might say that uh, that's half of 3.3, .3, which is, um, funny enough, about 1.7. Um, <laughs> and then you could add those in. Or you could say, because there's, there's so many assumptions you could take with this, you could say, since they're both at uh, 4 volts, you could uh, say it's 1.7 watts each. But you know it's not, because the current's split. Okay, so there's, there's so many avenues you could take this, and it's just definitely a question you can't do because you can't work out the resistance of each lamp, but I've followed it through in a few other ways just to kind of drive it home. There you go. And I should say, last year there was a question with three diodes uh, placed in parallel, um, which uh, relied on similar kind of ideas, I guess, um, and, and it didn't hold water in the end. The, the questions were trying to be a little bit too tricky um, for what they really should have been trying to do. Um, or they needed to give a wee bit more information, or just use resistors in there. It would be nice and easy. Anyway, there we go.